Thank you. Let's just move on from the story. It's playing out in Uttar Pradesh to a different story altogether. Let's take you down south to Karnataka where a head of Lok Sabha poll, CNN News 18's Ritu, reports from Bengaluru Central. Bengaluru Central is a traditional BJP stronghold. The BJP has won all three of the last elections that have taken place there. The Congress is obviously hoping to change that this time. My colleague Ritu spoke to voters on the ground. Take a look at what they had to say. Bengaluru Central is one of the 28 Lok Sabha constituencies going to polls in Karnataka. The seat is traditionally seen as a BJP stronghold, but Congress's resurgence in the recent assembly elections puts the spotlight on this key constituency. Will BJP win again from Bengaluru Central or will the Safran party be dislodged by the Congress? The state of Karnataka has a total of 28 Lok Sabha constituencies, making it one of the important states during the general election. Retaining Karnataka is vital for the BJP as it wants to keep its majority in the Lok Sabha. Since a loss would cause introspection and change the party's national narrative. Well, the Congress in Karnataka this time is also no less as it wants to make a strong comeback like it did in the assembly election. Among 28 Lok Sabha seats in Karnataka, significant is Bengaluru's central seat as well because this particular constituency is exactly in the heart of the city and also has many popular spots. If I won't be wrong if I say that anyone whoever comes down to Bengaluru would have a dream to visit this particular constituency because this particular constituency has multiple shopping centers. UB City Tower is here. Kaban Park in fact is here where I am right now exactly. Multiple popular educational centers are here and majorly the IT corridor. If we dwell deeper into Bengaluru central constituency, then this particular constituency was created in 2008 as part of delimitation. And it first held its elections in 2009 and the first member of parliament was from BJP, PC Mohan. Ever since then, it is him who has continuously won from this constituency. But this time, the Congress is claiming that the game is going to be quite a different because what the Congress is alleging is that a lot of local issues have went unanswered from the BJP. That's the reason they are quite confident that their candidate will win from this constituency. But also this Bengaluru central constituency includes eight assembly seats and presently there are five Congress MLAs and just three BJP MLAs. Now since there is a Congress dominance on Bengaluru central constituency, this is what is making the Congress to be more confident that they will win in this seat but needs to be seen what is exactly going to happen. Few Bengaluru central constituency voters are with us, we'll try and take a word from them, what is their perspective, how far it has been for them, what are they looking forward as well ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. Sir, what do you think that you are satisfied that you have done so much work, how many marks do you give? बिल्कुल मैं तो टेन में से नाइन मार्क्स दूंगा कि मोदी जी आने के बाद बहुत अच्छा काम किया है और बहुत बड़ी उपलब्धि हासिल भी की है हमारे हम बहुत लकी है कि हमको नरेंद्र मोदी जी जो ग्लोबल लीडर है वो हमारे देश के प्रधानमंत्री है मैं आपको बहुत सारी उपलब्धि गिना सकता हूं जैसे कि सज्जी का स्काइक है मिशन मंगलम है मिशन चंद्रायन है और गांव गांव में 10 करोड़ फैमिली को 5 लाख का बीमा योजना है और मेरा कहना मतलब यही है कि अभी लोकसभा इलेक्शन आ रहे हैं तो उसमें अगर हम वापस मोदी जी को लेके आएंगे तो देश में और भी अच्छा इम्प्रूवमेंट और भी अच्छा डेवलपमेंट होगा देखिए मैम जो हुआ है वो तो सबको ही पता है मगर जो नहीं हुआ है उसका सबसे बड़ा मैं सोचता हूँ कि सरकार को अगले टर्म में उसको ध्यान देना चाहिए कम से कम एक तो रेलवे की बदलता जमीन रेलवे की हालत इतनी खराब है चलिए आप वंदे भारत वगैरह ट्रेनें चलाइए अच्छी बात है मगर अभी आप स्लीपर का हाल देख लीजिए स्लीपर में आप अगर जाते हैं तो आपको ऐसा लगता है जैसे जनरल में रे देखो इसमें तो कोई दो राय नहीं है क्या आएंगे तो मोदी ही और अब की बार 400 पार का जो उन्होंने नारा दिया है तो कहीं कहीं वो सफल होता हुआ भी नजर आ रहा है एज ए बिजनेस 
एज अ व्यापारी मैं ये बताना चाहता हूँ कि जो टैक्सेस में जो इतना कॉम्प्लिकेशन बनाया हुआ है ना उसमें व्यापारियों को जो है वो मोदी सरकार से रिलैक्सेशन मिलना चाहिए और मैं जो अभी फिलहाल जो है फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर वो तो निर्मला सीतारमन जी से है तो इनके लिए भी एक मैसेज है कि जो टैक्स में जितना हो व्यापारी इजी से रिटर्न फाइल कर सके जीएसटी में इनकम टैक्स का स्लैब थोड़ा बढ़ाया जाए तो ये मेरी स्पेशल रिक्वेस्ट है मैम इफ यू कुड टेल वॉट शुड बी दैट मेम्बर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट शुड एक्चुअली ब्रिंग टू द आई टी कॉरिडोर या आई थिंक रितु द मेन प्रॉब्लम इज दैट एम पीज नीड टू स्टार्ट फोकसिंग ऑन वॉट द सेंटर कैन ब्रिंग टू द स्टेट and right now they are just uh, running about trying to focus on very very local issues which is not their purview we have 28 mlas going from karnataka and uh, my prayer to all our mps whoever is elected from whichever party is they must work together once they are elected they are representing the state they are not representing their parties anymore they must go and research what central funds are available for states for example we had the nirbhay fund which was very very important uh, but we didn't get a single penny in karnataka for a very long time now the police has set up a command and control center with those very funds so our mps need to be a lot more proactive we need to see them on the ground